Hi, okay, so I've recently been asked if I can do a video on dashboards and reports in Sugar. So to do this, I'm gonna use the desktop um, version. And as you can see from my internet browser, I'm using Chrome today. Um, so we'll get started. So what we'll do is we will log in. And upon logging in, the first thing that any user sees is what we call their dashboard. Um, or their home page. Uh, basically, it's the first screen that they see and it's the screen they always come back to when they hit the sugar icon at the top here. So as you can see, I have a dashboard here and this particular dashboard is called sales. So this is one I've created for me to show me sales information. So I'm looking at dashlets such as show me all opportunities closed by city. Um, and you can see here the city breakdown at the bottom, the opportunities that have closed with their total amounts. All of the dashlets in Sugar are interactive. What I mean by that is on the legend here at the top, you can take results in and out to see a smaller set if you wish to. And that's available on all dashlets. So um, here we could do it exactly, take them out and pop them back in. Okay, you can drag and drop dashlets. So if you want this one to appear here instead, you can drag and drop them around. You don't have to have the layout split by three. You can have one large dashlet you could then underneath have two dashlets and then three. It's entirely up to you uh, how you want this laid out. So this is just uh, my sales one. Um, and what you can furthermore do is actually customize how you want the dashlet to look. So we'll look at this one, for example, open opportunities by type by expected closed month. So this is basically telling me opportunities that are still being worked on. And then I can see the type at the bottom here is it existing business or new business and then obviously the colors and the line colors here represent the month that they're going to close let's say i don't want this as a line graph anymore we can actually configure the dashlets as well so it doesn't matter what chart you've got them set up on when you build the report you can actually configure what type of chart you want so i'm simply just going to change this to a vertical grouped bar chart so i can choose here do i want to show my totals on my x and my y axis where do I want the bar chart placements? I'm gonna say in the middle, um, and then I'm gonna hit save. So we'll still have exactly the same information, but now we'll have it in a format um, of vertical stacked bar charts, okay? So you can customize all of your dashlets um, and choose how you wish them to appear. You can have multiple dashlet dashboards. So you can see here, I've got sales, activity, and customers. So I have three dashboards. Um, so let's show you an example of the activity one. As you can see, I have this split out slightly set differently. So I have two dashlets at the top. I then have three dashlets underneath and then two dashlets, which are larger at the bottom here. And as you can see, it's pulling information through um, regarding the activity that I've asked it to do within Sugar. And my last example is dashlets about my customers. So what customers do we have by their type and by industry? How many customers are created on a monthly basis and by whom? Um, again, I'm looking at customers, uh, which city, so in, in this case, London has the most of our customers. And then um, if you've referred to any of my previous articles, I'll show you where I've created fields using emojis, and you can also report on that. So you can see here we have nine customers that are really not happy with us. Again, we can change the layout of these dashlets. We can do whatever we wish here. Um, dashlets are also um, drilled down, uh, able to, so if I click here, what's going to happen is I'm going to get a drop down on, on the screen here. It's going to pull down and we can see those nine customers that are not happy with us. And we can then further go through and click on them. We can preview them. We can edit it just like you normally would with your functionality in Sugar. And we have 42 customers who absolutely love us. So if I click on that part of the dashlet here, you'll see those 42 customers then populate. And then just to get rid of this screen, to take you back to where you're going, you can just press the, the toggle draw here and up it goes. We can then obviously look at half and half of the screen or we can just simple cancel out of that and take us back to our home page. Dashlets are all powered by reports in Sugar. There are some dashlets that come standard such as activity dashlets which are, are all in Sugar. But let's say you've got custom information and you want to have dashlets of, you, of your own with your own information of what you want to track. So they're all actually powered using the reporting module in Sugar. So with the reports module here, <clears throat> gives you the ability to create a report, view any reports and manage advanced reports and obviously look at your report schedules. 
I'm just going to take you through um, some examples of the reports that you can have here in Sugar. So when you first go into it, you'll get a list of all of the reports that are there. Um, Sugar comes close to about 100 reports out of the box. Um, but then you can see I've actually created some of my own reports as well. Um, so if we have a look, for example, at the customers by city, which was the one we looked at on the dashboard, we will see this is the report. Underneath, we can then have information grouped. So you can choose what information and how you want it grouped underneath the visual bar chart um, at the bottom of the screen here. Re create reports in Sugar is relatively easy. Um, so the first thing you need to do is select what type of report you want to build. There's four here available in Sugar. Um, I'm just going to go in this case a summation report with details. So we'll go ahead and build one as an example. Um, and the one that we will build is looking at all leads um, by their rating. So what we need to do, because we want to report on leads, we need to select leads as the module that we're going to report on. So the first bit is defining your filter. Um, you do get your step-by-step -step wizard here. So if you read all of this, it'll explain um, what it is that you're looking for. So I'm gonna find my filter or the field that I actually want to report on. In this case, it's called rating. Um, and then again, here's, here's an example of reporting on the emoji uh, field types. So we've got, do I want to report on hot leads, warm leads or cold leads? Um, in this case, we will say is one of hot and warm. So we can select that one and that one. <clears throat> you also have the ability to add a runtime filter. The runtime filter will enable you to change any information on the report once it's completed. So you don't have to build another one and another one um, for, the same, um, for the same layout and the same filters. You can just chop and change it once it's run and we'll show you the example of that. So basically I'm looking at all leads with the rating of hot or warm. I could add more filters here. So I might then want to say, only show me the leads um, where the status is still open. So if I scroll down here to status, and then I can say is one of, and I'm just gonna select those statuses that are still open. So I'm gonna ignore the bottom three here, and I only want to work with leads that um, are still active. I'm happy with those. You could add more, you could say, show me those that are created in the last X amount of days, last year, show me leads assigned by user, by team, however, but we'll work with these two examples for now. Our next step is how do we want that information grouped? Um, so when you're looking at the information underneath the chart, do you want it grouped? And if so, how? Uh, in my case, I actually want it grouped by the rating. So when we look at the chart underneath the report, I'm then gonna get a, um, a table where I can collapse and expand, but that table will collapse and expand by hot and warm leads as well. So we'll select rating. There we go, that's fine. I don't want it grouped by any more. You can have more if you wish. What's my display summaries? Obviously the display summary of rating will pull through, but then I've got some more options down here. In this case, I just want to know how many leads are in each of those ratings that are still open. So I'm gonna just add a simple count. Next option is choose your display columns. So this is the information you see in the table underneath. What is it about the leads that you want to see? So in this case, I want to see the name of the lead, the account name. Um, I'm gonna to want to know the phone number. I'm also going to want to know who the assigned user is. And to do that, because the assigned user is another record in Sugar that's related to the lead, I need to go to the related module here, just click it, and then type in your username here. <clears throat> go back to leads at the top, and then this will give us all of our lead fields again. So I also want to know the industry. I also would like to know lead source. Anything else that you, you, you want to see, you can just go ahead and select and pull them through, and status. So here, here's fine. I can then go ahead and change how this appears. So instead of account name, I want to might want to have a company name. <clears throat> I might not want the number one there, so I can go ahead and delete that. Under the username, I might want to actually spell it out, assigned to in the system. So who, who looks after that lead? Um, and that's probably enough, but you can also reorder them. So how do you want them reordered? 
So in my case, I want a signed username underneath the lead name, company name, then probably industry, lead source, status, then phone. So I'm happy with that. Options are what type of chart would you like? So you can see here you've got some um, examples, but these are the, the charts that are available on the report. Don't forget, if you bring it through to a dashlet on your dashboard, then you could choose a different uh, chart type as well, as I showed earlier. So in this case, I'll go with horizontal bar grouped. That's fine. Next stage is I need to give my report a title. So we've got leads open by rating. And then we're going to hit save and run. Upon hitting save and run, you will now see that the two that we selected are automatically here. And we've got 77, of which 41 are hot, 36 are warm. And then here's the information we asked it to present us as well. So this is all of the information in your tables underneath. And then here's how your groupings work. So you've got hot. So you've got 41 hot leads and again that's grouped there and then you've obviously got your warm leads just going back to that runtime filter so let's say you want to see the same report but you want to see those for the cold leads you haven't got to build another report just select it here and hit apply that's not going to change or remove or or do anything to the, the report you saw before it'll just change it on the fly you can see you've got 47 cold leads and here they are or you can go ahead and select them all select one of is not one of and so on so that's how you build a report in Sugar. You can export reports. You can also create schedules. So if you want a certain report emailed to you once a day, once a week, or, or however often, you can go ahead and set up those schedules as well. What's also quite nice, so we've uh, built a, a report here based on the leads module. If I go to the leads module, and obviously here's a list of all of my leads, mm -hmm. um, what you also have the ability to do is look at lead reports that are related to leads. So you can click on here, it takes you straight to the report module, but it automatically collates all of the reports in the system that actually are on the leads module. And here's the one that we just built. And it'll obviously give you some information if you want to preview it. Or if you click into it, then you get the information and you can see the whole report. I hope that's been useful and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Any questions, comments, suggestions, please just let me know. Thank you. Bye.